Welcome to Create 20, the cohort of 2022. Create 20 is EgoMo's annual flagship program where we celebrate 20 exceptional pairing games. Today we have with us Gurnur Kaur Bear, a seasoned professional. Gurnur introduces herself as three shades of diversity woman, queer, and disabled. Walkwise, she is essentially a curator of online personal brands, a social media solutionist a professional speaker and experiences creator, curator. She is also the founder of House of GKB and the co-founder of Delhi Peer Space. Without further ado, let's welcome Gurnur. Gurnur, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, you are a disabled queer. Um, I'm sure navigating this world has not been easy for you because it's not designed for either of those identities, let alone be the intersection of them. Um, given the current Supreme Court uh, verdict on denial of allowing queers um, to have marriage as a fundamental right, as a disabled queer, where do you stand and what are you going through? Well, you know, um, I, I never knew that I was disabled till a few years back. Um, if one is that, so I've never looked at myself as um you know as that being a thing um and i have like, this goes back to the fact that i think everything in my life happened when i was 12 i kissed a girl when i was 12 and i was uh, diagnosed with epilepsy when i was 12 what a monument <laughs> but um and and you know like if you look back i'm i'm going to turn 32 very soon. So it's like almost 20 years of knowing that, um, you know, you're, you're different than the, than the masses. And um, when you're very young and you don't really realize what's happening at that time, you still grew up in a society wherein, you know, um, you you're into the fairy tales and you still I, I mean come on i used to still do plays which were like rapunzel and cinderella like i used to be in, on stage for those things and you know like i still watch the disney movies um so like and i come from a punjabi like family sadar punjabi family what do you expect uh, so it, the concept of marriage was very like ingrained and I was very happy about it, you know, like, yes, of course, it's going to happen. From, I can till date tell you exactly how I want my marriage. I just don't know with whom. <laughs> I don't know exactly detail to detail about it. So, you know, I've lived a life way before 377 was even, you know, thought about uh, to be to be like, you know, um, uh, put down but I've lived that life I've lived the life of being closeted in a society even if I had somewhat come out to myself um, so I was very comfortable I have grown up a little comfortable found my way navigating through not just epilepsy but and, and also being queer but at this point was this was like the first point wherein I had hope you know, like, oh, like this fantasy can be a reality. Are you sure? Are you seriously telling me that this is possible? Like, I, and, and it was, it was beyond me to think that there was hope even. So I think the pain lies in, and I did cry. I cried the whole day. I didn't know how else to be. I think the disappointment and the disheartening of it was why did you give us hope? And I'm sure, I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that they went through all of these, uh, you know, petitions and all of that. And I'm sure they, there was some reason to it. But um, if, if, if it was so hard, if you couldn't even give us one benefit out of it, it feels kind of like, you know, why did you give us this hope? What was all this? Well, like we say foreplay, if there was no main cause, you know, like, so like, why would you do that? So I think for me, it was definitely that um, when it came to the verdict, disappointed, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not, um, not hopeful. 
my friends told me, why don't you go abroad? I said, no, I actually like this country. <laughs> so it's been tough. When you are a queer or when you are a neurodivergent or when you are both, isolation gets served to you as a compulsory meal, right? Like there are no two qualms. Yeah. How have you dealt with this? Uh, what have you done about it? Because this is an issue that is close to so many people. Um, and I just want to hear your story just in case it inspires someone to do something about their isolation. Oh, thank you for asking me this. And thanks uh, for this question because it uh, really made me think also. Um, like I said that, okay, so there were two ways of looking at the isolation when I was growing up. And one was um, the fact that the second I was diagnosed uh, with epilepsy, I was not allowed to ride a bike, like cycle. I don't know how to ride a cycle, okay? Um, not allowed to go swimming. Um, I also don't know how to swim. <laughs> um, also not allowed to go on trips uh, like with my schoolmates or you know with my friends i've literally just gone on one trip with my friends in my life okay and that was also because it was my friend's bachelorette um so you can and 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 you can imagine like that's like that's it and i'm not that young also that one trip sounds like you know uh like oh yeah you got so much like i'm if you <laughs> In three decades, that's like it. <laughs> so, of course, there have been so many restrictions that have been put on um, for the sake of safety, for that matter. You know, like, I actually moved out of my house, of my parents' house, because I wanted to prove to myself that I can live by myself. Because... Epilepsy is one of the things. I also have thyroid. I have six shoulder dislocations and I have like this leg uh, thing. So like, it's like a lot of like, it's a lot and tonsillitis also. So like, I, I always look at it like these things have to be taken care of. Like you have to navigate through it. But growing up with epilepsy being the main thing for me, it really... One made me super introverted, you know. I was always a shy kid, and it made me super introverted. And daring to me thi ni, matlab rehne do. Like now today, what you see of me is like a completely different person. Like you're laughing. Like look at you. You've seen my post. Like you would never imagine me saying that daring to me thi ni. I have three ventures and, and the biggest, one of the biggest things that people say, like for an entrepreneur, that risk takers. No, that was not me. <laughs> okay. And I think that the fact that I was always supposed to stay at home, not supposed to mingle too much. Growing up, um, I do a lot of events, which include a lot of alcohol. Um, I'm not allowed to drink alcohol, by the way. I don't drink too much alcohol. Um, so, because I can't and I don't have that. My body doesn't suit, you know, fit, you know. I'm just a great host. Let me put it like that. It doesn't. Um, so, and, and concerts and music festivals still date. By the way, these glasses in itself have no number. I'm photosensitive epileptic. I can't deal with white light. There have been times when I couldn't deal with light to such an extent that I would lie in bed the whole day and wake up after 7 p.m., like get out of bed at 7 p.m. And that led to a lot of depression also. The side effects of having epilepsy have so many um, mental health, like they have the, the medicines in itself are the same used for bipolar also. And uh, it's just, so it's it's like you don't, and as a kid, you don't really know what's happening with you. And this is just one part of it. 
okay then you also don't know what's happening when you don't just like boys you know and you don't know how you feel about um your gender also i've questioned how i feel about am do i genuinely feel like a girl or you know there've been times there've been phases in my life when i've been extremely masked and i've considered that i'm maybe an androgynous or i've really gone through that entire thing and because it was in early 2000s in a country like india there was no reference point there was nothing there was not even another human being who would talk about anything remotely like this so i had nothing to hold on to and i have gone through an immense amount of bullying also and one begins to wonder why is there so much wrong with you why you why why me like mai itni kya nokhi so i think and then there's nobody to talk to nobody to understand at that age you also don't understand and your i think early like my parents were also like like not i mean that was just like a no it was not accepted like you know it was just not an accepted thing so it's um it's been it's 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 been a lot of like self reflection and at the same time when you keep pushing somebody into a corner because you can't do things or you're not because i became very slow medicines make me very slow i've been like ghar pe bolte the you're very slow kuch kaam hi nahi kar pata you're so slow you know like or or the matter of punctuality for that matter i i can't like i have suffered like i i it's been so hard to be a person who's been on time or anything like that like today i'm happy to know that i've actually been featured for my time management by linkedin news so i worked really hard on to just show up for that matter it's just small 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 things wo andar ghus jata hai that you're not it's you're you're just not right like you're just not even like like average normal and i think i never i've never thought of like like there are a lot of of my peers who have considered taking their life and all of that i've never had those thoughts i've just always been very like okay what can i do to make it better for myself i've really like stayed very resilient and i think i only have myself to kind of give credit for i don't know what made me just stick around so isolation has i think made me look inside sometimes in a way of anger um but at the same time with all that anger and angst which made me daring you could say uh, a little more daring it also made me have great self awareness of who i am from a very young age i think um, and i think if you can if for anyone who's uh listening watching if they could just look at it from that perspective the gra- the not the grass being greener on the other side no but more like the glass half full um i think it would really shift the way you look at your life because it's these realizations came later when you connect the dots yeah how does today's gurno ground herself um and how does that balance like how do you balance or do you balance like i want to be myself but i also want to belong okay uh first of all i would like to say that the world has massively changed it has not it is not the same and that is the reason why i i, I have hope um it's very important to understand that i'm one of those few people who has seen being queer for two decades not few there are of course the older queer generations but just because you're say 31 32 doesn't mean you came out like 
15 20 years ago it could also mean you came out just yesterday as well so people who've known of their sexuality for uh almost two decades they have seen this country evolve and it has changed massively in terms of the way uh people look at us and i would say that we all belong okay i'm no longer of the mindset that i want to belong i say i want to stand out and why is it me who is uh, a queer neurodivergent disabled woman i think even a white cis het man would want to stand out in general we can't make this our identity we just have to look at everything as humans so with that kind of mindset how do you know but there are times of course cuz we are special <laughs> but uh, there are times and i feel like um यार गुस्सा तो आया था मेरे को मतलब ऐसे आग जली थी मेरे अंदर एंड आई एम नॉट रानी ऑफ झांसी यार आई एम अ वेरी लाइक लेट्स मेक अ डिफरेंस विद विद लाइक यू नो आई डू इवेंट्स बिकॉज यू नो इट लोअर्स पीपल्स बैरियर्स इट हेल्प्स पीपल गेट कंफर्टेबल एंड लाइक आई वांट टू क्रिएट अ माइंडसेट शिफ्ट इन लाइक शिफ्ट इन परस्पेक्टिव प्रोवाइड सेफ स्पेसेस समथिंग आई डिडंट हैव ग्रोइंग अप but i was angry i was emotional today also if anyone talks to me about the verdict for example i will cry i have told my ally friends like how dare you not have called me exactly on that day you know uh like why uh did you not do you not love me enough do you think you know like it's straight up like do you not love me enough like do you what is this love what is this allyship that you share like allyship is a is a verb it's not a noun i have been i have been a shark in the last few days outright for sure and that's very unlike me um i have a i have a loud voice but i'm not a, i'm not going to eat somebody up because they didn't choose to do something but this time i have when it comes to me personally and i go through things i think um I'm a very spiritual person. I have like six tattoos out of which I think five of them are at least four to five are very like spiritual. So I think very important is to um you know kind of uh go and maybe you know do whatever makes you um like sometimes some people say medit- meditation helps. I like meditating. some people say journaling helps i can't do journaling about this about this if i may share about this thing which has prompts because i like to write crazy thing is because i'm a linkedin creator the day you see a lot of posts coming one after the other that's therapy to me writing that way so like that's those are few things which like do what kind of makes you settle i think listening to music is very important um friends are very important friends are very important i feel um family sometimes is important as well you know like if you have a supportive family uh friends but i think friends are the best you should just go and eat ramen or comfort food with them um simple things just just go back to what basics in life are and main itni aise complicated nahi hu or and sometimes it sometimes the craziest is i love coffee i'll make coffee i have a lot of anxiety so i I'll, i'll make coffee because making things make me feel good now and then coffee gives you anxiety so it's kind of a vicious cycle i would not suggest it but do what makes you happy at that time and i feel like just that entire process of centering yourself um kind of makes you look at things a different way i also do not shame on anger this is something that i have recently been working on uh, in therapy also yes please everybody you should go to therapy okay um therapy is important for everyone but recently i've launched to embrace this anger which has stemmed from of course my childhood um 
And I feel like if you look at anger, why can you not channelize it for the good? Take this energy, it's all energy. Take this energy and see what solution you can create. And I swear to you, I know for a fact with the amount of anger, disheartening emotion that I have, I am going to create something, whether it's using Delhi Queer Spaces or my own ability to make that perspective shift in the country. I will not settle. So those are some grounding things that I like, do. Describe your coming out experience in one word. Uh, one word. Um, did, I can't like put it in one word. Okay, one one word. It was um, it was kind of invigorating. Mm. I don't know why that word kind of came to okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, invigorating it is. <laughs> what <laughs> what huh. one queer stereotype annoys you the most? Oh my god. Straight passing lesbian or bisexual. How can you look at someone and say that they are like straight? Like all they're this or you know, like like they're straight. They're not most no. I think straight uh, to those who don't know straight passing is you stereotypically look like a straight person. But like you can't assume something about the sexuality. I think that'll get really annoyed. Yeah. What is one thing that you would like to see in your lifetime change for queer individuals? Shadi, yaar. What the okay. <laughs> I want to get married. I don't, I'm super single, but I want to, I want that choice. I'm, I'm I with you on this. I'm with you on this. I'm, I'm glad you are. You should be with me. <laughs> you have to pick one. Um, okay. Uh, drag show or queer poetry slam. Drag show. Even though I, I'm a poet, but I want it. I love drag shows. <laughs> yeah. Same, same. Okay. Now the first thing that pops in your head as soon as you hear these words, it could be like you could just like give me one word, but it totally could be like a non-verbal reaction. A lot of our speakers just like roll eyes and just give me a look like what the fuck up you So that is also okay. 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 Like, Fine. Okay. Diversity and inclusion. Okay. <laughs> it's it's so bad. <laughs> Sorry, allyship. Verb. Transphobia. Unnecessary. Why? India. Home. Queer stories. Cocktails. Colorful cocktails. Delicious. Flavorsome. All the senses. Yes. <laughs> 